Human, you are awake. Welcome. No, oh, please do not be afraid. I am, as you humans say on earth, coming in peace. No, oh, I speak many a different tongues. I have been in this universe for some time now. My name? It is Apotiki Askite Odebiti Or, um, if that's hard for your human dialect, my friends all call me Dorothy. Wonderful. Well, we found you and me and all of the crew aboard the ship wish to observe you and your culture and anatomy. I've heard a great deal about you humans, but I've never seen one up close. This is a very exciting day for me. We wish to just take a quick inspection of you, and then we promise to release you safely, if that is all right with you. We observed you from afar, and you seem to be an excellent human candidate. Wonderful! Thank you for your cooperation. I'd like to start by examining your, as you humans say, face. Is this all right with you? Wonderful. We, in our culture and species, believe in safety first as well. We seem to share a lot of similarities with you humans, so I have been looking forward to this visit for some time. I don't wish to contaminate our specimen so that you are safe upon your release. All right, I would like to start investigating your facial features. Wonderful. See here. Oh, it seems you humans also carry the sigils of your family. Yes, the hierarchy ranking on your face. You seem to have quite a few. I must count them. There is one, two, three, four, five, These are not markings of your family. Then what are they? Freckles. And do all humans have freckles? Oh, 
How wonderful. I would love to observe these freckles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, You have so many of these freckle markings. You must be of political power. No. Well, in our species, one with that many sigil markings would be of great importance. Hmm. You truly are a rare find. Do you carry these markings all over your anatomy? I would wish to look further. Oh, very well. We will get there shortly. I would like to look into your eyes. Please stare right here and try to keep the rest of your body still. I suppose that won't be hard since you are currently strapped down, which I do promise to remove when our inspection has been completed. Hold still here. And is this causing you any discomfort? Good. I'm glad you're doing well, human. By the way, what is your tag? Yes, your name. Wonderful. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yes, please continue to follow the light with your eyes. Great job. All right. I would like to review the inside of your mouth. Please open up wide for me. Can you open your mouth any wider? I see. Hmm. Very well. And what is this thing hanging at the back of your mouth? Fascinating. 
it seems when we push on the dongle at the back of your mouth, you excrete a terrible sound. I will put that in my notes. Are you all right, human? Wonderful. Your mouth is so small. You must eat small food in portions. Fascinating. I thought our species had more in common, but we can dislocate our jaws where we're able to eat more food and it goes down into our five stomachs. How many stomachs do you have? I can't wait to see. Um, nothing. Let me look into your hearing tubes. Okay. Everything looks good on this side. Can you hear me, human? Wonderful. Can you repeat these words back to me? Close. Let's try again. It just gets out of it. Hmm. Perhaps in your own dialect. Pencil. Wonderful. Other side. Looks good on this side as well, though your hearing did seem a bit challenged on the last ear. I'm going to say some words. You just repeat them back to me. Let's try again. In your own dialect. Butter. Okay. Oh no, there's nothing to be concerned about. You're doing wonderfully. Okay, now that I've looked at your exterior for your face, let's move on, shall we? Wonderful. I would like to test your depth perception. I have this light right here. And I would like you to follow it in and out with your eyes. Are you ready? Yes, please try and keep the rest of your extremities still. Here we go. Good and back. Good. Perfect. You are quite a marvelous specimen. Let's move on, shall we? All right. Next, I would like to obtain
your metrics. Please hold still. Yes, this will tell me how big you are, as you humans say. And for your face. for your lower extremity. Very good. We have gotten that out of our way. I must say, human, for my first one of your species, you are turning out to be quite extraordinary. This is a great find for me. I am oh so excited. Are you having a good time? Oh, wonderful. I am so glad. Now, it is time for my favorite part. The probing. Oh, please do not be alarmed. The probing, it'll be gentle. Well, if you do not wish for the probing, I suppose I can put it aside for now until you are sleeping. Let me just put that in my chart. Oh, nothing. Shall we continue? Very good. If you do not wish for the probing, we will go ahead and use this wonderful device. I will turn it on. I will ask for you to close your eyes. And I will scan your extremities. And it will give me all the details of your making, how you work on the inside. So, I am going to turn on the device. Please close your eyes. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, 
should not hurt. He should not feel a thing. I'm just going to make sure I scan all of you. It should feel like a warm ray of starshine. Very good, human. Let me make sure that Dinar is now in our system. Very well. So, we are almost complete. Lastly, I have these temperature globes. One is of a warm temperature. The other is of a cold temperature. I'm just going to touch your human flesh and see how it responds. I assure you, you will not hurt. Here we go. Interesting. Let's try the other one here. And again. All right, human. That is all the data that I need for now. I do wish to get more later, but for now, my crew and I will review the information that we've obtained here, and we will continue at our next session. Yes, I'm afraid this will take some time. Wonderful news. I am glad you are enjoying it aboard of our ship. After you awake from your nap, I can release the restraints and you can walk aboard the ship freely. Why, yes, I don't think you'll be getting back to Earth by exiting the ship, so you are safe and of no concern to us. Perhaps you would be interested in viewing our UFO, as you humans call it, 
UFO driving school. Yes, it is a flight academy for moving our ship. All right, perhaps at a later date. For now, you rest. I will be back shortly. If you are wondering when, I will put this off to the side. When this empties out, you can expect me back in your room. It was nice to meet you, you men. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Stewart looks in.